Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're doing our weekly guidance, our weekly oracle card readings. And we have three options. Option one, which is this uh, dinosaur uh, with lipstick on. <laughs> uh, option two, it's this, um, um, yeah, you know what this is, right? From Despicable Me. <laughs> and uh, option three, uh, this is a pterodactyl. So... <laughs> Um, please go ahead and choose an option and uh, yeah, you can meet me at your reading. I'm going to go ahead and start the reading already. So today I'm using Paolo Barbieri's uh, Chinese oracle and I, I'm going to simply um, go in and choose a, um, a card for you and then I'm going to channel the reading. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen this um, dinosaur, what is your message for this week? What is the message that you need to hear at this moment? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? Okay, so I have the card of the rat here. You're standing at a point at which you're beginning a new era of your life. And what I see here is that you've gone through quite a lot to be able to get to this point where you can stand in your own strength, naked, with your own truth, knowing that whatever you jump into, whatever you step into, you're going into it with a full sense of your vulnerability and you are leaving behind the nagging thoughts. You're leaving behind the worries that you have. You're ignoring them for the moment. Yes, they are all there. Yes, they're gnawing away at you. Yes, you're aware of the, the presence of it, but you are ignoring it and you're allowing yourself to leap forth into a new dimension in which you actually are able to trust. You're able to trust that it all be fine. You're able to trust because you have developed this faith in you so the, for me, the message for you is that work on your trust, work on your ability to trust what is yours, work on your ability to know what it is that is yours, work on your, your sense of just being one with yourself, allow yourself to become naked in this possibility of truth and, and trust and, and surrendering to that which is the other thing I'm hearing is that disregard whatever nagging doubts you have. Disregard that. It's irrelevant at the stage of your life. It's unnecessary. It, you don't need it really in your life at this moment. You have moved beyond this and it's not really a part of you anymore. It's a part of which which accompanies you but it's no longer a part of you. You know these nagging thoughts and doubts were inside of you and you've you've managed to get it out of you it's following you because it's there and because it's a part it's something that you've you've brought into this world by having these doubts but it's something that you are about to let go of what i'm hearing here is that this woman is basically ready to actually step into something that's greater than her she's able to move forth in a way that she never imagined was possible right now and it's taken her a really long time to get to this point. But she's going to do it. She doesn't know what awaits her, but she's going to do it anyway. And the advice that I'm getting from you for you is that go ahead and, and take this leap of faith. Go ahead and make this jump. Uh, go ahead and leave the negativity behind. Leave what's gnawing you behind. Go ahead and move forth into a whole new dimension. Allow yourself to take that leap. Give yourself the permission to do so. Think not of what will be or of what was, but just simply go into something that is brand new and see what it has to offer you. And as I was mentioning, work with that part of yourself which is still vulnerable and work with what you've been hiding, work with what you've been cloaking behind uh, you uh, or behind others and release that. Be Bear yourself, bear yourself to you. Bear yourself not to others necessarily, but to yourself so that you may be completely honest, you know, stand in your truth as well. And when you do that, 
recognize who you really are with all your strengths and with all your vulnerabilities. Okay, so that is the message for you, who, who, uh, for those of you who've chosen uh, this uh, dino here, this dinosaur here. Um, and uh, yeah, once again, I just want to say that this is really a new beginning for you and uh, you're ready to make the step. You're ready to move ahead and actually make huge a huge leap of faith in your life. So go ahead, right ahead and do that. Okay, so good luck with that. And I'm moving on to the next um, uh, thing here, which was this minion. Apologies, I didn't remember what that was uh, a moment ago. And once again, we're asking this very same question. What is, the, what is the guidance that we need for this week? What is it that we need to know this week? What is it that those who have chosen the minion need to know for this week? What is it that they can expect? Uh, what is it that they need to know at this moment and for this time ahead of them? What is their guidance for this week? Yeah. Okay, so we have here the tiger. Whatever you faced with right now may seem threatening, may seem dangerous. You know, it might be that you're just recovering from something and there's something else that faces you. It might be that you're just simply allowing yourself to be free, allowing yourself to understand who you are, coming into your truth, exposing yourself, being more vulnerable in the world, allowing yourself to feel more love. And what you're confronted with is aggression and a threat, a threat or what you perceive to be a threat. And what I'm hearing Stay in that love. If you are practicing unconditional love at the moment or compassion, stay in that because that's going to take you a long way to actually giving you what you need and giving you the strength that you need because with your um, compassionate gaze, you are able to soften those who are aggressive. You are able to impart love upon those who are not giving you that love. You know, you you may have been offended recently or insulted by someone or somebody may have really hurt you really deep down and you've gone into yourself full of emotion and you've felt really deep inside of you the hurt as well as your, you, you know, you search for your sense of well-being and worth. And uh, I'm saying to you, the next time you're confronted with such a threat, stare it in the eye. Look at it with love and compassion and recognize that their aggression is not a reflection of you. Their nastiness or their negativity is not a reflection of who you are. You are standing in your truth and in your integrity and you're trying to be as authentic as you can and be in touch with your emotions at the same time. And whatever you're confronted with, uh, whether it's road rage or whether it's uh, somebody who's trying to uh, bully you intellectually, or whatever it is that you are faced with, just stare it in the eye. Look it down with love. Because love is what is victorious at the end of it all. Love wins always. And when you have the tool of love, it's not about ego, it's not about... Uh, winning over that person it's simply about being in a state of love where you recognize them you know you recognize their divinity and you feel compassion for them and you're imparting upon them love and healing as you gaze at them and look down this threat if it is not somebody but rather something the same message applies simply look it in the eye see it for what it is don't recognize that the way in which you view it is your own perception and you can change that look at look at it for what it really is and actually understand that you have power over this and you have your own power which is actually equal to what you are confronted with and that you can overcome this with strategy and with a, a sense of knowing who you are and where you're headed to with this so the advice here really is just Look at it in the eye and impart compassion and love uh, to it. And, you know, that's the advice for your week ahead. Go at it with love and you won't fail when you do that 
because it's like a weapon, you know, as much as it makes you vulnerable, it's like a weapon that protects you as well as shields you from the others. Because when you look at something with love and you, you don't in, interact with aggression or you don't interact with, with, with violence or with or, uh, harsh words, but you simply impart love, it, it really takes you on a whole new level and it disarms the other person. It disarms the situation and there isn't this charge anymore of difficulty. There's simply love. It just takes over. Okay, so it floods the space. So that is the actual the message that um, I have for those of you who've chosen the minion today. And um, yeah, I hope that's been helpful and that gives you the guidance that you need for the week ahead. So for those of you who've chosen the last card, the third card I have here, the question we're asking is, what do we need to know right now? What is our guidance for the week ahead? And um, when, yeah, what, what is it that I need to know at this moment? And just remember that this reading is timeless, so you can access it at any time that you need guidance. It's not just for this week, but whenever you need it. So for those of you who've chosen the third option, uh, we've gotten the snake here. And what I'm hearing for you is that there is a primal force that exists within you, a force which is in touch with its sensuality, with, with its sensuousness, a part of you which is hedonistic, a part of you which allows things simply to be. But at the same time, there's an aspect of you which is content to to be regal and understanding one's one's royalty, understanding one's value, knowing who you are, but not having to do anything about it, as in not having to show it, not having to act upon it, not having to prove it to anyone else, but simply to accept it and to be at one with it. And what I'm hearing now is that if you want to exhibit that, you are welcome to do so. But you may choose not to because your divinity or your uniqueness or your special ability to be who you are needs not to be justified to anyone else. And you may receive criticism for the way you are or may, you may have people telling you that you need to do this or you need to do that or you need to be something else, something that you're not. And what I'm hearing here is that you don't need to justify yourself to them. You can just simply be who you are. It's okay to be who you are. Simply recognize how beautiful you are exactly as you are. It's okay to have a sense of easiness about you. It's okay to have a sense of not wanting to do anything. It's okay to do nothing once in a while. And it's all right for you to do that. You don't need to explain this to anyone else at all. The other thing I'm hearing is that if you feel the need to exhibit yourself, okay, if you feel in the next few weeks that you want to exhibit yourself, you want to uh, dress in a way that you haven't dressed before, or you want to try something new, something that you haven't done before, if you want to just go ahead and change your way of dressing or change your hair color or do something outrageous, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and, and do whatever it is that you've been planning or thinking of doing and stand in your own uh, standing yourself, you know, don't allow people to tell you any longer that you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. It's really important for you to recognize your own beauty and accept that and believe that it's adequate and, and move from there, go from there because you don't need to have an affirmation from anyone else. You have a life of your own, which is, you are, you are unique on your own and you don't need to pander to anyone else, okay? You can just be who you are in this given situation. And, you know, you can stand in all your gl glory and, and um, show yourself to the world. But at the same time, you can also stay within you and simply be yourself. And your glory shines through you. And so I'm hearing that it's really important for you to give yourself the permission to be able to enjoy yourself, to be able to celebrate yourself, to be glorious in yourself. And regardless of what people think or whatever people will say, 
this is your life, this is your world, and this is what you deserve. So go right ahead and take charge and understand and recognize your royalty, you recognize your divinity, understand your worth. We're talking about royalty, not as a monarch or imperialist monarch here. We're talking about you being of value as you hail from the divine, as every other person is on this planet and animal and plant, all that is divine is royal. So I thank you for coming by today and I hope that's helped you. It's been uh, what you've actually needed to hear this week and it guides you on some level. I think sometimes these uh, readings can be really deep and uh, on another level and sometimes they can be lighter and they're dealing with more day-to-day uh, -day matters and it's more kind of you know basic advice and uh, that's what it seems to have been today so I once again I hope that it's helped and um, wishing you a wonderful week ahead or from whenever you're watching this and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising